Oh lordy lordy intrepid ones, this is my 99th video. How did that happen? We didn't know each other before all this. Here we are. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my hundreds yet. So I thought I'll knock this one off now for 99. Um, I did extensive readings on Jared Kushner part 1 and 2. Uh, if anyone wants to go back and revisit those and let me know if anything's transpired. But I think things are happening with the Kushner stuff. So this is going to be a top up on Jared. Inevitably it involves Ivanka, but essentially I want to know what's happening with Jared. Okay. Now, to begin Jared's reading, I'll just give you the essence. So, in the centre, Ace of Pentacles, born to money, born to know about money, born to have a life that revolves around money, 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 money. However, to remind you, storm clouds, the hand of God, so to speak, we'll call it the universe for a want of another word. So the hand of God or the universe provided him with money, but there are storm clouds brewing around that thing. Also, this card, Ace of Pentacles, known as Fool's Gold. In other words, investing too much in money and not enough in other emotional aspects of your own development. This interpretation, which I've used before with this gateway in the hedge, is repeated experiences. So he was born to money, kept repeating the same experiences, failing to pick up on the lessons, and now he's sitting on a huge pile of fool's gold. Under this, he still has the support of three women. So whether that's his mother, sister and Ivanka who knows the combination, but he tends to get this card. So at this point, he still has their support. It could be three women who don't include Ivanka because I'm not entirely convinced she does support him at this stage, but publicly she does. So there you go. There's three women very big in his life who are still holding him together. What's crossing this is walking away, his desire to run. So what does that mean? He's a Capricorn, so the idea of just floating off into the Seychelles like a Manafort character does not hold any inherent appeal to Jared Kushner. He, I think it's more that he wants it to go away rather than him moving away. He can't be as stupid as to think he's going to get away with it. Maybe he is. But he wants it all to go away. Oh, yes, the apprentice. At the root of this, he was the apprentice to the father. That's what gave him his value system, which is all that matters is money. We have 57,000 tenants or something, some colossal number of flats or, as we call them, or apartments. We know he's a slumlord and he was taught by his father and possibly both parents how to think about money. And then to put a religious spin on it is just obscene. You know, so morally he is completely bankrupt. Oh, sorry, Jared. Hierophant, that's the system. If Muller doesn't turn up as the King of Swords, this is Muller. If not, it's the general system. Two things were really stupid in the Trump extended family. One was Donald going for president at all. 
and second was Jared and Ivanka taking White House roles. Trump could have gone for president and Jared could have kept his world secret, you know, and still gone along and groveled and begged to the Chinese and the Qatari and anyone else who'd stand still long enough to hear him out about a bank loan. Um, Deutsche Bank, I did a video on Deutsche Bank and Kushner too. He's been everywhere. The Russians, the Germans, the Dutch, the Middle East, China. Is there anywhere that he hasn't begged for money and traded? And it's the trading of his position for the money that's going to bring the hierophant on his ass. Unlike straight money laundering, which is more Donald Jr., give me your bent Russian money, I'll buy real estate for you and give some money to the NRA. That's sort of the money laundering cycle. He's not above that, but the thing that will bring him undone is that he was a senior White House advisor when he was going and saying, we're going to reward you if you support my family company or we're going to punish you if you don't support my family company. That is the corrupt act. So Jared Kushner. I'm not a lawyer, but what I'm seeing here is it's more that than the straight money laundering, although he is involved in money laundering. Okay, so Ace of Swords, Truth and Justice on top of him. So he's not going to be successful in this particular endeavour with the fool's gold because of all those reasons I just described. Okay, uh, short-term outcome, the illusion of the happy family. Jared and Ivanka and two of their three children. This could also, I call it the GOP card. This is also the fantasy family card. Um, the little house on the prairie family that doesn't have any minorities marrying into it who doesn't have an inappropriate number of children. Um, no LGBTQ people in this family. Interesting with Jared's alleged history. So the point I'm doing all this is this is the illusion that he and Ivanka are going to try and keep up because if they don't, they know it all falls down the toilet. It is going to happen anyway, but they're doing the dance. So he sees himself as this international man of mystery, oh, as this internationally successful business person looking out across the ocean. It's not washing anymore. He can't look in the shaving mirror, his million dollar mirror, and actually see that figure. So these cards are the cards of what he wants to present to the world. I'm still a successful entrepreneurial creation and I've got a marvellous family. Okay, so you don't have to scratch very deep to see the fallacies in this. This figure too is also someone who I would have put as traditionally a bit older than Jared. So let's call it his older self. Now he, he's still only mid-30s or something. He's not old, but it's too late for him to learn the lessons because he's got in so deep. Again, like I just said, if he wasn't a senior advisor to the White House, he could have learned from those lessons and maybe pulled things out of the fire. But we know with 666 Fifth Avenue and everything else, they're done. The Fool, this is him, how he sees himself as this successful international person. What's acting against that? The fact he's a complete abject idiot. This is the thing with these guys too, you know, they have the best education in the world, they have the best everything, and yet they're so fucking stupid.
stupid. I'm talking here about Don Jr., Fredo. Privilege blinds people. They actually believe that the people they go skiing with represent the rest of America and the rest of the world, you know. So, thinks he's a huge international success. No, he's not because he is a drongo. Group money, dirty money in the environment, filth and scheming. It needn't be. The card's not always negative about group work. But we know enough about his business practices to know he's never put an honest deal to together in any context. Don't forget he's supposed to be solving the opioid crisis, modernising the American computer system, bringing peace to the Middle East, when in fact all he's doing is crawling around the world on his hands and knees, begging for bucks. It's kind of sad. Okay. Swords. Lots of swords. The card of pulling back. Having a bit of a rest. Sorry, there's no time, Jared. If you look at this figure, it's the four of swords, three pointing down, one underneath. No matter where he moves, the swords will get him. He's just gone too far because he had his privilege blinkers on. He was convinced by his father from birth that he was a perfect prince and deserving of having millions and millions and ripping off poor people. And you know what? It hasn't quite panned out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Deception, things aren't going well. These glasses are crooked. They're driving me mad looking at them. Oh. Okay, so coming up for him, more deception. What this means to me in his personal reading is... He's still in the deluded stage. He hasn't got that card that Trump got of the crushed figure. He hasn't quite realised it yet. He's beginning to tweak that this might not end well, but he's still able to delude himself and a handful of others, probably the women in his life who go, oh, Jared, these people are being really nasty to you and you're perfect the illusion is still out there you know. oh 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 his final card let me share doesn't even need a comment doesn't. judgment judgment so all I'll say is sayonara to Jared when we want to know when when is he going down i'll give it a crack i'll just try and get a timeline sometimes you do sometimes you don't because i don't think it's a question of if i think it's a question of when when will jared be indicted can't promise can't promise guys Check out your astrologer sites for timelines. But the ones that keep coming up are as potent months for this whole administration. May and August are biggies. Okay, let me concentrate. Jared. Okay, the three cards he gets are Justice. This is the um, Nine of Cups, which traditionally is read as successful, emotional, satisfied with life outcomes. I never see it like that. I see it as the slave trader figure. But even if you take it as its traditional meaning of successful emotional outcomes, right beside it, you have the Seven of Cups, which means the illusion of this outcome. So we've got here 
the 11, the 9, the 7. Oh, I don't know. It's not giving me a clear outcome. I can't take you any further with this. But I will say, as far as it goes, because of the 7 and the 9, particularly the related cards, 7th, 8th and 9th month, so that's July, August, September, could be. This is the 11, which is also September, so maybe September, but that's not one of my strongest, clearest, you know, predictions ever. Therefore, it'll probably come about. <laughs> Who knows? It's pending. It's not a million miles away. Okay. So let's see what happens over the summer with young Jared. Okay. Keep those comments rolling. Bye, guys.